right, everybody. So the grit, the sausage is nice and brown. And I'm, I, I was talking earlier, but you, y'all couldn't hear me that well. Um, you know, my mom used to have to really make food stretch because there was six of us kids. So she made a lot of things homemade, you know, when we were all living at home. And this is one of the things that she taught me, and I love to make it. And uh, So here we go. You want to make sure your, your sausage is nice and brown. The other thing is you want to make sure that it's done, and you want to make sure that you're not cross-contaminating where you're cooking and your utensils and things like that, especially when it comes to poultry or, or your sausage. So but let's take a look. This is so, so simple. So I turn the heat down and the trick is to make sure, you know, if this is a really low um, oil, like if you don't have very much oil, you might want to add some cooking oil because that's one of the tricks to making your own, uh, <clears throat> your own uh, gravy. So we're going to just start out with some flour. And I'm trying not to make a mess this morning, y'all. I'm trying to surprise dragonflies. Uh, it's been a nice week off. I've missed y'all, though, for sure. So I'm just going to take about two cups. Uh, these are little cups that we have. I think I'm using the wrong cups, but it doesn't matter. They're not. I don't do any type of measurement when I make this gravy in any way, shape, or form. So you want to get your your uh, flour on there. You want to get your milk on there, and then you can do it with a whisk or whatever you prefer. There you go. Usually, you kind of know the consistency of it. Now, isn't that scary, y'all? Dragonflies are sleeping and I'm in the kitchen by myself. So you just want to... Oh, I'm already making a mess. And all you want to do... I'm going to turn it back up just a little, get it going. Most people know the consistency of the gravy. You want to make sure you get all your flour mixed in there really nice. And just stir it. And it'll thicken up. And you'll kind of know, like, see, it's almost too thick. So what I'll do is I'll add a little bit more milk. I probably won't need any more um, flour. Some people like it thinner. Some people like it thicker. I mean, it kind of depends on your family. And, of course, you just use your flour to thicken it up and your, your milk to, to lighten it up. And I made a lot because it's for biscuits and gravy and we'll keep it and we'll have some extra for later on when we want to eat it. And you can kind of see that that's almost too thick, but I left a lot of meat in there. So for as much as I made, I probably, probably had to get about, I don't know, um, several cups full of, of milk. A whisk makes it easier, but, you know, Lord only knows where the whisk is at. I'm not too great when it comes to finding stuff in the kitchen. 
but I usually just stir it, stir it, stir it, until you get it all mixed in. And you'll end up with a really nice, yummy sausage gravy. And then you can salt and pepper it to your taste, how you like it. One more time on milk. I just want it to be a little thinner. There we go. Oh yeah, this looks good, smells good. And it always thickens up because it's just flour and your milk. So now we're getting the right consistency. I made quite a bit. I used a pound of sausage and uh, we can make some more homemade biscuits. I might show how we do those too in this same video. Oh yeah, you all see how yummy that was. Uh oh, I'm getting stuck on the stove. Go figure. Now, I, I don't add a lot of salt. I do add some, but I don't add a lot because sausage already has that natural salty flavor. But I do add quite a bit of pepper. There we go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, folks. And now Dragonflies has homemade biscuits and sausage for breakfast. She loves her biscuits and gravy. And I like making it, so look at that. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm going to turn this down onto low. And I'm just going to hit She's sleeping in. But I'm going to go ahead and cut mine up. I'm not going to wake her up a little this morning. I'm going to let her sleep in. But look at this, y'all. Look at that. I'm going to plate me up a nice portion of biscuits and homemade gravy. Looks really good. Oh, look at that. So there you go, y'all. Go ahead and turn that down. But look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe, maybe off the wall prepper. Maybe I do know how to cook. But look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I almost spilled it. Anyway, I'm going to go eat. Um, and, oh, I made cookies the other day, too. I made chocolate chip cookies. I like to cook. Um, really funny story. It was when I was in high school. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Oh. oh. Bone appetite. Hold on a minute. Y'all. Oh, okay. Hold on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Could use a little bit more pepper. But when I was in high school, right, I wanted to go hang out and uh, have a fun class. And, uh, so I took a, a, a cooking class. I got to hang out with all the, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had fun. <laughs> oh. Now that, oh, I got to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This y'all. Y'all want to come over for breakfast? Come on. Y'all want to come for breakfast? You can come for breakfast. Some of you may have quite a drive. But, oh. 
Let me know when you want to stop by the cabin and have breakfast with us.